Bob and Ogie and I go way back. It's that friend that you went to school with that was really hot, but has aged really poorly. But it's, it, it's still ridiculously fun. It's deep, it's complex. Many gamers disregard Mabinogi due to its aesthetic. It looks old, it looks ugly. While I believe it has a unique aesthetic and still enjoy its look, I totally understand the criticisms that people have of it. And with the exception of its small, dedicated player base, the game has continued to decline into absolute obscurity. To the point where, if you mention Mabinogi, people will often mistake it with Maple Story. This is all about to change. Six months ago, Nexon announced that they were completely overhauling the game, its engine, its combat, every aspect of the game as part of their Mabinogi Eternity project. They know the game is in a bad state right now. They know that absolutely nobody wants to play it. If they don't make sufficient alterations to the game before it's too late, well, it'll be too late. The trailer they released to accompany their Eternity project reveal showcased a single character and her transformation between different game versions. And it was glorious. She was full of personality and life. This was a massive upgrade, but we still had no real direction for the project until last week when we got a full minute and a half long teaser. I wanna watch this with all of you in real time so I can give my legitimate reactions as I'm experiencing them. And then we'll discuss what we know of the project and the overhaul after. Before we watch the trailer, allow me to thank our incredible patrons over on Patreon. Your guys' support is why I can continue to make videos like this every single month, and I deeply appreciate you all being there for me. Now this teaser trailer is uploaded to the MMORPG.com YouTube channel. I will link to it in the description if you want to go ahead and watch it yourself without me narrating it over it. And just first and foremost, not only is the character significantly better looking than anything we've seen in Mabinogi up until this point, but the scenery looks freaking great. I think this is the first town where you have to like beat up those foxes. And like the chicken and the fox are fighting. Yeah, that this is the first town. Okay, cool. Shame we can't see more of the, the NPCs walking around. Okay, I d okay, okay. Both these character models are a significant upgrade, but I want to note the girl looks better than the boy. From what I can see. But I also, I like what they did with the male because in Mabinogi, they have a lot of, a lot of faces with very, that are very expressive. And one of those faces are the ones with the, the flat eyes that kind of look like they don't give a fuck. But the girl looks better quality. She looks more expressive. They have fingers. She has painted fingernails. Okay, I, okay, I kind of want to see more than this though. Like that looks cool, but... Nice animations, but we're not seeing them actually move around, you know, walking, navigating. Okay, this, this guy looks a lot better. The outfits are 3D. They're not stuck, they're not flat and attached to their skin. Hold on, what is the starlight? An Unreal Engine 5 MMORPG? Okay. Yeah, I, I think I think I need to take a look at that, but looking at her fingers, how they're placed on her waist there, I don't have very high expectations for it, but I mean, you know what? I'll, I'll definitely take a look, expect that at, at some point later in the week. To me, that looked pretty damn good. I did have a few minor issues, however. On the one hand, the females did look absolutely phenomenal, yet the males felt a little bit underwhelming. Like they kind of just added an HD retexture over their character models where it feels as though they've completely redesigned the females, which, you know, makes sense, I guess. They know where the vast majority of our interests 
why. The other issue I had was that there was no UI shown, which could mean that these are completely pre-rendered and not at all what the character models or the environments will look like when the update is rolled out. According to Mabinogi's game director, the Eternity Project is an ambitious endeavor to rejuvenate the game while retaining its classic essence. They shared a slogan that encompasses the entirety of their goal, classic, but classy. They want to upgrade the game with modern aesthetics while striking a balance preserving the game's core identity. When asked how far through the overhaul they are, we were told they were in the prototyping phase, meaning what we see could potentially change quite drastically between now and the full release. They're redesigning the game from the ground up, and as such require a complete redesign of the server architecture, the content, the game mechanics. This is a daunting task to undertake for the current team, which is why they've hired additional programmers, expanding their team significantly. Mabinogi Eternity is going to be the largest undertaking the team has ever been a part of, but they have to be careful as they walk the line between faithful recreation and new game. The devs address this, stating that they don't want to reinvent the game from the ground up. They need a clear direction, and they can't begin improving things without establishing one first. Otherwise, they'll lose the heart and soul of Mabinogi, which is true. Overhauling the game might appeal to a newer audience, but is it worth alienating your loyal, dedicated, existing player base in the process? Because I don't think so. These players are the only reason you have the opportunity to do this, after all. I love Mabinogi. This is a game with very unique gameplay, and a lot of personality. It is by far one of the most unique MMOs I've played in my history in the genre over the last 16 years. Mabinogi provided players a social experience unlike any other. You could get jobs in game, you could trade, you could explore. Combat was largely unnecessary if you didn't want to engage in it. The game never ended. You would rebirth as you continue to play through the game, which would reset your character's age. Yeah, your character actually aged and changed visually. It would reset your gender, your race, and your appearance, setting you back to level one while retaining all your abilities learned. There was a player-driven economy, there was no sharding at all, meaning that every single player coexisted within the same world simultaneously. It was a different kind of MMO that we were used to. To this day, I have very fond memories of my time spent in game, and I really cannot wait to see what they ultimately end up accomplishing with Eternity. I do go into this with a degree of uncertainty as this is Nexon we're talking about, and Nexon has proven to be one of the most incompetent studios that I have ever witnessed. Now if Mabinogi isn't an MMO that you're at all interested in, absolutely no problem. I got you covered with two different videos on screen right now that might be more up your alley. <clears throat>